Greetings, Internet people. Ranning Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? As you can see by the title, we are going to go ahead and go into a rant request. This one was uh, given to me by one of my longtime watchers by the uh, YouTube username of Metal Gear Gas. And he uh, ba basically asked me what my uh, opinions are on uh, capital punishment. And, um,. I gotta be honest, at this point, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, because this is actually kind of a really touchy issue with me. Um, I honestly, at times, I feel split right down the middle on this one, um, that, that I sometimes feel, excuse me, that we should execute violent criminals, and then other times I feel that a, a, a naivete, I guess you could say, that everyone can change and that people can be rehabilitated as is the term used in the system so it's it's really kinda hard for me to nail down a specific opinion on this one um, I will say that in the case of um, you know like mass murderers, serial killers stuff like that I, I, I my my overwhelming internal instinct is that is for a cleansing of the gene pool which would advocate capital punishment um, there it just I don't know it just seems to me like maybe that even even with my naivete of thinking that all people can change and that people are inherently good when they want to be um, that the people I've decided, like serial killers, mass murders, just cannot be helped, and for that, the, for the greater good, they should be removed from society, but not at an overwhelming cost to the taxpayers, which is what imprisoning people is. Um, so, you know, yeah, execute those fuckers, I guess, because I don't want to pay for some mass murdering fuckstick to sit around and live comfortably with three meals a day. I mean, I know people who have been to prison will say, prison is not living comfortably, but when it comes to um, comparison and uh, perspective, um, getting three meals a day in a sheltered environment where you never have to worry about paying rent or any of that fucking bullshit in exchange for killing people seems kind of like they're winning in that scenario. I killed 14 people, and all you're going to do is make me sit in a tiny fucking room all day? You're going to feed me three times a day and make sure I get exercise if I want it? Sure. Sounds like great, great idea to me. You know, it almost seems to be that the perspective would be. So, yeah, kill those fuckers. But then we get into the stickier wicket, I guess you could say, of um, the people, you know, like someone who committed a murder. Only, ever, only actually killed one person. Now, I understand that. If that one person killed a family member of mine, or a beloved friend, or my wife, or something like that, that people would say, well, you'd want that person to die. Well, I can't honestly say that that would be my perspective, because I'm a vindictive son of a bitch, and I don't want you to die. I want you to suffer if you kill someone close to me. I don't want you to die. That's the easy way out. Because then your life comes to an end, and as it aligns with my beliefs or lack thereof, I don't think that there's anything after this life. You die, and that's it. And the reason why most people think there is something after this life is they can't seem to wrap their mind around that concept that when you die, you're done. No more you. No more... No, no soul or spirit that's going to float out amongst the, the ether and, and continue your existence. When you die, you're done. That's it. That's the end of you. So it, that's how I feel. That's my perspective. I'm not trying to force that perspective on anyone. I'm just trying to offer some enlightenment as to why I feel the way I do on this particular subject. And because I don't believe in any sort of continued existence past physical form, I think that death is an easy way out. So if someone were to kill someone close to me, I would I would actually be in favor of that person suffering in the long term. But I also don't want to have to pay for them to live, which is the the little double uh the, the um double jeopardy, the 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 Mobius strip of oh shit at this point. 
is I want them to suffer, but if they're going to go ahead and suffer in prison, I'm going to have to, my taxes go to that. I'm paying for them to live. So, well, I don't want to do that. Fuck that. That's bullshit. So, you can see where I'm at on this type of issue is that there's the one side of me that says everybody can change and everybody's able to to reform themselves if they really want to. But then there's another part of me that says you're killing people, there's something wrong with you, remove you from the gene pool so that the human race as a species can advance itself. Because anyone who's been watching me for a long time knows that's kind of a recurring theme for me. My goal in life is to see the human race advance in any way possible as it pertains to the coexistence of all. And mass murderers and stuff like that obviously are detrimental to that program, so of course I would want them want to see them removed. But on the other side of the same coin, I don't want to have to fucking pay my hard-earned dollars to give someone a comfortable life because it's supposed to be a form of punishment. Sure, they don't have the freedoms that I enjoy, but they don't have much to fucking worry about other than maybe the occasional shower rape. So, I apologize, Metal Gear Gas. I can't offer you a definitive opinion on this particular subject. I'm honestly split. To me, it's, it's an extremely conditional issue that you can't just have a blanket policy of capital punishment. You have to be able to temper a policy with reason. There has to be some some line, like I said, some line of reason that says, under these conditions, we're going to kill you. Under these conditions, we may not. But then there's a set of unknown conditions where it depends. And, you know, at this point, we've got too many people in the country to have some sort of general consensus. So who do you put in charge of this kind of thing? Who can be trusted? No one really, because everyone has some sort of personal agenda, like me. My agenda is to see the human species advance. So you can, you can uh, infer what type of decisions I would make in that position from that stance, and as you could with anyone from their stance. So what the fuck do you do in this situation? I don't know. I have no clue. Obviously, kill the mass murderers. Sentence those, sentence those motherfuckers to death. But I don't think otherwise there's any sort of blanket policy that should be applied because each situation is under a set of very special circumstance. And we need to, as a society, be able to look at that and evaluate that and apply law along those lines. At least that's my personal opinion. So there you go. There you have it. I'm Ranting Ramsey. That's what I have to say on that subject. That is all. Hey, did you get all that, man?